It begins! American comic books cover a wide range of topics. The most obvious is superhero, but what people may be surprised to find out is most comics aren't superhero related. I've read comics about horror, music, entertainment, war, fantasy. The only two I haven't really read a lot of is politics and sports. So about a little more than a year ago when I was at Green Brain Comics in Dearborn, Michigan, I saw this book and I decided to check it out. Playball is the story of, and stop me if you've heard this before, a girl arriving with her family in a new town, going to a new school, and she has a special talent in a sport here, baseball, as she tries to join the boys' sports team. She faces opposition and has to win everyone over. Will she make the team? How will her teammates react to a girl in their midst? And will they win the big game? Hmm, you know, this does sound familiar. This, this setup has been done many times before. Anybody remember NBC's Hang Time? So yeah, this isn't a new concept, but the question is, did the creators attack this in a different and more interesting way? Well, the main character is Heather Dashiell Brody. She goes by Dashiell, and she loves baseball. Her new school, Phoenix Station, does have a girls softball team, but it seems she considers softball a bastardization of baseball, and thus she really just plans on joining the boys baseball team. It was at this point that I had to suspend my disbelief a little because I figured that maybe up until the end of junior high, both boys and girls could physically or realistically play up against each other, Monique Davis, for example. But I doubt that this would be possible in high school and college. For example, the best female pro basketball player wouldn't be able to beat the best male pro basketball player. Anyway, Dasho comes from a recently broken home. She's living with her older sister and her mom. Her father is too busy doing other things, let's just say. Well, that's the sub, so let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. Pro, the main character. The main character, Dasho, is likable, if a bit stubborn and ratty at times, but who wasn't at that age? She's, she has an idealized version of her father who's never there, and she blames her mom for him not being there. She also has a love of baseball and wants to play, and like I said before, she considers softball a watered-down version of baseball. Despite her faults, she is easy to like. Another thing that I like about the book is the pace of the book. This is a pretty quick read. Typically, it takes me about an hour to read a trade paperback or a graphic novel, but it took me less than an hour just to read this. It's pretty easy to get into. You don't have to be a baseball fan to read or enjoy it, and so you won't have a whole lot of heavy lifting that you need in other stories for this story. Initially, when I read this book, I didn't like it. I wasn't a big fan of the art. I didn't feel there was enough background detail, and I felt that there were too many panels with empty white spaces. But rereading it, it's not that bad. As with many sports stories, it's not about the sport itself, but about the characters. You won't learn much or really anything about baseball from reading this, but so you don't have to be a sports fan. This story is more about Dashell and how she handles her home life and occasionally her baseball life. And when it comes to that, I think the creators of this book executed fine. 
And now the cons. While that show is written well and is a good depiction of a teenage girl, the rest of the cast isn't as well fleshed out. I can't give you a good character profile of their personalities, much less their names. No one receives as much character de development as that show. Only her sister gives us a hint that she isn't as vacuous a person as she seems at first. A couple of examples would be when she tries to step that shell to get on the softball team or calling her out when she's treating their mom terribly. Another character, a male friend she makes on her first day at school, really provides nothing. At first, I thought he was going to be the love interest. Nah. Okay, maybe a platonic friend who would be there to listen to her troubles and keep her grounded. Nope. It just seems like he's there because the writers felt they need another body as part of the cast of this graphic novel. Next, baseball. I wonder, do the writers even like baseball? It doesn't play a significant part of the story. It just seems it was used primarily as a framing device and nothing else. And finally, the art. The art isn't that great. I'm not going to ding it for being black and white. I've read a ton of Japanese manga every week, so I don't have a problem with that. Also, independent American comics as well. But what I will do is get on it for not being interesting. Especially the baseball scenes. I don't want to hear how baseball is boring and would be difficult to draw. Once again, I've read tons of Japanese manga. And if they can find a way to make any kind of sport exciting like chess or baseball or football, then so can this artist, I believe. If an artist isn't strong enough in the source material of the story, then that artist shouldn't be used for that story. The Climax. About 130 pages in, the story takes a pretty formulaic turn that at the start of the graphic novel you knew was going to happen, but after reading it for a while you would forget about it. It just seems that the final obstacle at the end, it just seemed rushed and tacked on. I'm not really sure if I can recommend this graphic novel. Here's the thing. If you're a baseball fan or you want to read a comic about baseball, or maybe you want to give this to someone so they can learn a little bit more about the game, the story fails. Now, if you're looking for a comic with, some, with a pretty well-developed young female character, then yes, it is a decent and fast enough read. Just understand, it's not really going to be about baseball, and the supporting cast isn't that strong, and the art can be a little underwhelming. And that's all I have for right now, and until next time, goodbye.